let's recall that for any square matrix, the eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are linearly independent. Now for symmetric matrices, we can further conclude that these eigenvectors are in fact orthogonal as well. Which brings us to our next theorem. And this theorem says that if A is a symmetric matrix, then any two eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues of matrix A are orthogonal. So let's verify that this statement holds true. So to begin, we of course want to let matrix A be a symmetric matrix. We also want to go ahead and let vector V sub 1 and vector V sub 2 be eigenvectors of matrix A corresponding to distinct eigenvalues, so lambda sub 1 cannot be equal to lambda sub 2, such that we have the eigenvalue problems. Matrix A times vector V sub 1 is equal to lambda sub 1 times vector V sub 1, and matrix A times vector V sub 2 is equal to lambda sub 2 times vector V sub 2. Now, as we proceed with this proof, we want to keep the following two facts in mind. Now, the first is that matrix A is symmetric. So, in other words, matrix A is equal to the transpose of matrix A. The second fact that we want to keep in mind is that for any vectors x and vector y in Rn, the dot product of vector x with vector y is equal to the dot product of the transpose of vector x with vector y. So with these properties in mind, let's take the first eigenvalue equation and right hand multiply by vector v sub 2, which we can rewrite as the transpose of matrix A times vector v sub 1 multiplied by vector v sub 2 is equal to lambda sub 1 times the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2. Now we are going to come back to this equation, but we want to pause for a cause and consider the left hand side of this equation exclusively for the moment. So using the properties of the transpose, we can rewrite this as the transpose of vector v sub 1 multiplied by the transpose of matrix A multiplied by vector v sub 2. Now, since A is symmetric, this is equal to the transpose of vector V sub 1 multiplied by matrix A times vector V sub 2. And we recognize matrix A times vector V sub 2 as our second eigenvalue equation. So this further simplifies to the transpose of vector V sub 1 multiplied by lambda sub 2 times vector V sub 2. And since lambda sub 2 is a scalar, we can pull it to the front, leaving us with lambda sub 2 multiplied by the transpose of vector v sub 1 multiplied by vector v sub 2, which we know is equal to lambda sub 2 multiplied by the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2. So with this simplification in mind, we can now rewrite that original equation as lambda sub 2 multiplied by the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2 being equal to lambda sub 1 multiplied by the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2. So bringing all of these terms to the left hand side and then factoring out the scalars, we're left with the equation lambda sub 2 minus lambda sub 1 multiplied by the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2 being equal to 0. Now, since these eigenvalues are distinct, we know that lambda sub 2 minus lambda sub 1 cannot be equal to 0 because lambda sub 2 cannot be equal to lambda sub 1. So therefore, by default, the dot product of vector v sub 1 with vector v sub 2 must be equal to 0. And so by definition, vector v sub 1 and vector v sub 2 are orthogonal which is exactly what we wanted to show. Woohoo! So we have officially verified that if A is a symmetric matrix, then any two eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues of matrix A are orthogonal, which completes our proof.